iPads port has had some pretty cool looking keyboards and I and I got to say I've one of my very first keyboards was one of these guys and I've I've I haven't had my hands on one in quite some time. I've, I've always been playing with different stuff. But if you guys are interested, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. If you guys want this one, I have a link in the description below you. That way you guys get hooked up with the latest and greatest deals. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. This is the mini wireless keyboard, colorful backlight remote for perfect control of multimedia home entertainment. It says you could use it for PCs, your Xbox, your mobile phones, smart TVs, Android devices, like tons of stuff here. So let's go ahead and, and come over here and see exactly what we get within the box. So let's check this guy out. So it looks like it's just, is there anything else in here? Oh yeah, there is. And it looks like it's going to be just one charging cable and it's got a splitter here on the end. So this one's going to go to your power brick. You don't get a power brick within the box. Of course, you get your little reading material there. And then this guy right here is going to go right there. So just plug it in and everything fits pretty good. And then here you could just add an external here. So pretty nice. And let's just see exactly how this guy works. There is your off and on button right there. Um, handheld, this thing feels really, really good in the hands. I, I got to say, it's just very, very comfortable here. So um, I know some of them did have these buttons here at the top. This one doesn't. Um, if you do pop this off, that is going to be your rechargeable. Here is your USB. And this guy is going to go um, either to your computer or some of your streaming devices. And I got to say, it, it is not easy to get out. It's actually pretty difficult to get out. So there we go. Finally had to slam it out a couple times to get it out. And of course, the battery slipped out. So this is, this is just your rechargeable. It should keep everything charged up pretty good right there. Um, and then just make sure when you do put it back in, everything is snug and good. So there's your USB right there. Um, looks like you have a mouse left and a right click here. This is going to be your pad to scroll and, and whatever you need to do. That's going to be your back, your home. It looks like your stop, your pause play button, uh, page up, down or up, down, and then uh, either rewind or fast forward and then up down left right and that's your okay button here looks like that's going to be your settings your mute your search um also even though it has your clicks right here on the side you also get it right here so i don't know why they did duplicates but there it is your fn key anything that's blue so you have a couple options here that are blue that's going to be your your second set of keys here so it looks like like here's like your wi-fi and it looks like there's going to be a light right there so let me go ahead and turn that on so here we go. If you do hit that FN and then you click on that, you're going to get that red color. Click it again. You're going to get green. Click it again. You're going to get blue and then click it again. You'll get get it turned off. So uh, we're going to go ahead and stick with that blue color like that blue color right here. It's right now it's searching for the Wi-Fi. So or the USB is searching for this guy. Make sure we're all plugged in. And that's it. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in over uh, to my Nvidia shield. Let's go ahead and plug this one over there to see exactly how it works. And just to be sure that everything is working good. So let's go check that out. Okay, so I got it plugged in. And on the keyboard, um, you actually have to press the FN key right here. Push the FN key, hold that, and then push this button right up there. That's going to refresh the, the Bluetooth to connect to the receiver. Now, if you click the Wi-Fi, that's a whole other video. But I'll show you guys how to hook this up with the, with the NVIDIA Shield. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK and give it a few seconds it should fire it up right there so there we go and now if you do use the the keyboard here as you can see everything is just going up and down everything just works really really smooth um yeah it, it just picks it up really really good now because i have the pad here if you do move around the pad and i'll go ahead and move that around you'll be able to see that mouse right there so pretty, pretty nice. Now it does have a home button. If I do click on that, it'll take me all the way to the top. So it's pretty, pretty simple to set up. So that's pretty much it. Works pretty good. Very, very easy to do. Um, stay tuned to our future video because what we're going to do is we're going to see if we could hook this one up to a uh, fire stick. It says it's Bluetooth. So let's try to see if we can hook it up Bluetooth. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, you guys take care, take care of each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.